Hello there. This is MD here with you here on Jebzilla. In this video, we are going to be looking at the pencil tool. How to make it a little bit easier to draw with, so it makes you look good. Once we've done our drawings we're gonna add things like this where we kind of have this nice kind of profile stroke on it. Or, look at doing arrowheads, dotted lines, dash lines in this kind of artistic hand drawn over the top of a real image project. Let's jump in now and get started. Alright. To get started I've just created a blank page. Create it any size you like. I'm using US letter landscape. I'm gonna bring in an image. So let's go to file. Let's go to place. And in your exercise files. We're looking for one called pencil tool 01. Now this image comes from Unsplash. It's a really cool site that you can use for free commercial use images. So it's Unsplash. And we're not gonna use the template in this case. Cause what happens with the template is that it fades it out. And I don't want that in this case. I just wanna bring it inches and we'll lock it. So let's click place. Now when you're bringing in an image if you click once it's gonna bring it in full size. I'll do it. You don't. You wait there watch this. Click once whoa that's a big image I'm gonna zoom out way bigger than my page. So what I'm gonna do it before I place it, I'm gonna zoom back in, and I'm gonna show you a different way of placing. So file. Place. And it's easier just to click hold and drag. And you can just tell it what size you want it to be. Go and. We could put it on its own layer and lock it. Or what was the trick we used before? Object. Lock. Selection. Alright. So let's get going with the pencil tool. It's this one here. Looks like a pencil. Underneath the brush tool. And you wouldn't see it because it's hiding under the shaper tool. So the shaper tool is like the first tool. Click and hold it down. And grab the pencil tool. I'm gonna zoom in. What I'm gonna do before I start drawing is, I'm gonna say I would like no fill. So red line, and the stroke I'll gonna use is white. Now, by default the pencil tool's a little weird. The first thing is that I'll gonna draw those wings that you saw at the beginning. So, if I draw my like little wings, and I'll draw my other little wing, and I'll draw my other little wing, if you see their like deleted the first one to replace the second one. That's just one of the defaults. It means if you draw kind of a line close to the one you drew before. It tries to redraw it. Let's join them all up. It's a little weird so to turn that setting off. I'm going to delete all that. Is double click the tool. Double clicking the tool opens up these settings for it. And in this case, I wanna say this one keep selected. I always turn it off and I never turn it back on. You might find a good use for it. But I don't. Now, when I draw stuff, it is not going to keep it selected, which means it's not gonna try and redraw it. Now, the other trouble is that my drawing looks terrible. So if you're not using it, say, a Wacom stylus even if you are, I'm just using my regular mouse. What you can do just to make yourself look a bit better. Same options. Double click the pencil tool and see where it says fidelity. You can crank up the smoothing. So down ready low. Means it's gonna follow your mouse perfectly. But that's not what I want. I want it to kind of not be perfectly smooth. Maybe just about there. Make me look better. Illustrator. So. I'm gonna draw this. And you can see, look how good those lines are. So much nicer. I want a different kind of one. And want this kind of like thing you can see those curves. I'm just clicking and dragging pretty badly. On. I don't like that one. I can delete them by clicking the black arrow. Hit delete on my keyboard. Back to my pencil tool. Don't worry about it. Keep drawing. They look kind of cool. Anyway, kind of a wing, still drawing, alright, 
let's look at strokes in a little bit more detail. I promised earlier on we would. So I've drawn these with a pencil tool. They are considered a stroke. And the stroke at the moment is a white line, and it has these kinds of flat ends. Do you remember what those are called? The funny word? It's called the black arrow. Let's select them all. And let's change this stroke. So remember we can increase the stroke. That's fine. And who remembers where we get in to change the capping at the end to make that kind of a bubble end? Remember. Click on the work stroke. There it is there. And we can pick our rounded caps or the projecting cap. The other thing we're gonna look at is the cornering. Can you see here it's got this nice. I want this angle and I like it. But you can change that kind of corner to be rounded as well to match the rest of it. Can you see if you want that kind of roundness to continue? I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it a bit better. You're watching for this guy. It's the only corner that I've got. But by default, it's nice. Sharp corner. Rounded. Or you can miter the end. Or bevel it. Either one you want. And let's say I don't want this kind of. Because it's the same stroke all the way along. What we're gonna look at is this thing called profile. So in stroke here, all of these guys were selected. Go to profile and there's a bunch of them in here that kind of look nice. Watch this. If I click this first one down, you can see what it's done. Click off. Cool. It just gives it more of a painterly stroke. I haven't experimented with all of these. There's a different look at that. It looks good. You're thinking tribal tattoo. Right. Kinds of ones in here. That would have been handy when that was super popular. But anyway. This is all kind of cool. I like it. I might select it. And increase it up a little bit to give it a bit more of a fuller little wing name. All right and zoom out. Next up with this kind of pencil drawing is we'll look at arrowheads. So I'm gonna grab my pencil tool again, and I'm gonna have some lines that come off the front of this for no reason. I try to put them all into this class too. I don't know. It's a design element. I want arrows kind of racing forward. Look how good this shoe is. Black arrow. Select them. And then the stroke here you probably saw it before. This one is called arrowheads. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on my arrows. Click on stroke. Cause the arrowheads will depend on which end you stick it. Depending on which way you drew it. So if I do this end. Can you see? That's the wrong side. So I'm gonna go back to none at the top. And the second option. I'm gonna pick one of the arrowheads. And luckily there are all sorts of differences. Kinds of arrows depending on what you consider an arrow. What you want to do as an arrow. There are lots. Look at it all. Perfect. What you might find though is some of these arrows. If I click on this arrow and say you wanna thicken up the line. The arrowheads get proportionally bigger. You see the line just comes up a couple of steps. But these arrowheads get huge. So nicely in the new version of Illustrator. They've changed. Can you see the scale of these two arrowheads? So I can lower this down. Let's say I want it to be maybe 50% of what it was. I find getting closer to a I don't know. It feels more like a proper ratio to me. Let's zoom out. So. Arrowheads. The profile. We've got our pencil tool doing nice. Smooth stuff. Let's look at dashed lines. So. I'm gonna draw another line around the edge here like it's been cut out. That didn't go well. Also didn't go well. I'm gonna leave it there. So. Here's my lovely line that I wanna make dashed. So I'm gonna go by the black arrow. Give them a select and I'm gonna say dot and there it is there. Dashed. So dashed is easy. A couple of things you might wanna play around with are the weight and the capping. But caps are just a really solid end. More kind of like traditional. Traditional. Yeah, traditional dotted lines. Or the rounded ones. Yeah. Nice round ends. I'm gonna use the butt cap and I'm gonna look down here. So if I just put in this measurement here. This 12 points. It's gonna go 12 point line with a 12 point gap. 12 point line. It just assumes this is what you mean. What you can do is you can say. I want a 12 point line but a really skinny gap. 
so I can say I wanna make it two points, and I'm gonna click in here, you can see it's a 12 point line, but with a two point gap, so you can decide how you want it to be, you might decide, now I want a 5 dash with a really big gap of 20, you can create your own kind of dash lines, alright, let's go to the next one, let's look at dotted lines, dash lines are super easy, Dotted lines for some reason are super complicated. Well, they're not. You're just kind of coming back to it every time. I only remember it because I have to teach this stuff. So let's grab our pencil tool. And let's do it like a flight path. Imagine these shoes are flying around so. I'm gonna click on that and say secure to that dashed line. You need to dash line let's get rid of everything else in here. And the way you do it is really weird. The first dash you put in is 0, which doesn't do anything until you click then the gap is however I'm gonna do 12. I'm gonna make the gap a bit smaller, so the stroke needs to have a dash of 0. Just make sure your capping is rounded. The pencil tool and the stroke. Have to like bookmark this video and the world doing great Nike stuff. There we go. So, got this line. It's gonna remember the last thing I've done. Go to stroke. So back to our regular line. So to do a dotted line. Back to kind of default. On round caps. It needs to be zero. Big you want it to be. And you can kind of see how it works. And you can see it's got like these dashes are absolutely zero. But if you make those absolutely zero dashes round caps. They make dots. Sweet. It makes it a bit easier to see. I'm gonna increase the weight. So that my friends. Is a really weird way to do dots. So just to recap. Gap any size. And alright. So that's a mixture of arrowheads. Stashed and tribal tattoos. Here we go we are done for today. See you in the next video. MD was with you here on Jebzilla.